The phrase used over and over again to describe drug treatment courts is life-changing. And as Montana is once again nationally recognized for this life-changing work, Governor Greg Gianforte says these courts can also expect a boost of funding for treatment courts in the state of Montana. Montana treatment courts are being used as a national model and in Billings Wednesday, the National Center for DWI Courts awarded these courts with a special certification, allowing Montana courts to train other treatment courts across the country and other teams around the country who want to learn how we operate and learn best practices, come and visit Montana either virtually or in person. Judge Mary Jane Nicely says there are now 40 treatment courts across the state and each is unique. Some specialize in Indian child welfare and family treatment. Others like the courts Nicely presides over are focused on DUI cases and veteran substance abuse. The cohesiveness of the multidisciplines the, and the the stakeholders have come together to make this court the model court. Eight of those 40 courts are about to lose federal funding, but Governor Greg Gianforte's latest budget will cover that funding gap and keep those courts operational. That $1.2 million comes from a settlement with a major opioid manufacturer after the state of Montana sued for damages over the opioid crisis. Treatment courts work. This is an alternative sentencing mechanism that helps people trapped in addiction get healthy and become productive members of society. Uh, and it costs a fraction of what a jail cell costs. That's why I've been such a strong proponent. And in our budget in 2023, we added eight additional treatment courts here in the state of Montana where federal money was expiring. Two of those eight courts are in Yellowstone County's 13th Judicial District. Well, Judge Nicely appreciates a day to recognize all the hard work being done to make these treatment courts successful. She says it's the people on the other side of the bench who keep driving the mission forward. When you see how um, these courts are able to change lives and then pass that on, that's why I'm interested in doing it. These courts and the model works. In Billings, Jackie Coffin, MTN News.